So it looks like 72, 73, Mom, okay? Before families leave the hospital after the child's first uh, heart surgery, parents are almost always anxious, but they're also usually pretty excited. They've been in the hospital for a month to six weeks and they're ready to get their baby home. I can't even imagine what it's like to be in the shoes of these parents, whereas it's frightening enough taking home a newborn baby. I mean, we're past what color do I paint the nursery? When you take your baby home for the first time after they've had especially major congenital heart surgery or major cardiac complications, they have an incredibly onerous amount of additional information that they have to worry about on top of the normal newborn stuff. Oh. One of the more challenging things is how do I then deal with the complications that can happen if you are bringing a child home for the first time that has a cardiac issue? And so we ask a lot of parents. We ask them to take levels on their children that we otherwise wouldn't have for other normal kids. We ask them to measure oxygen levels. We ask them to measure weights. We ask them to demonstrate and document every time that they give their baby formula or breast milk. And that's a lot of work. When I took over the program at UVA about five years ago, we would send patients home with a binder. And that binder was kind of a, a set of tables and a couple of tabs that had them write information down. I felt that we were doing things with 1950s technology, but utilizing medicine that was, you know, living in the 2000s. Luckily, at some point, I was able to have a conversation with Lindsay over at Locus Health. UVA has been a great partner through many programs that we've designed with them. Their children's hospital specifically and the leadership that's supporting the children's hospital has a vision of innovation. Together with the University of Virginia Children's Hospital, Locus Health designed a solution that we facilitate through an app and that was when Building Hope was born. When we first started Building Hope we knew that people use an app for things today. When a parent is able to measure a piece of data at home, what they do is that they take out the iPad and they launch the Building Hope platform. That will prompt them to enter in a piece of data. They type it in using the, the software package and all they do is then hit accept. That box, when they hit accept, then very seamlessly transitions right into the patient's EMR. We can then, as providers on the opposite side, pull up that information. I can see graphs, I can see trends, I can see each data point that that parent puts in. Each morning when I get to work, I log in each patient and check the Building Hope app information and I can ensure that their oxygen level is good and that their weight is increasing and that they look like they're feeding well. If they do enter a vital sign that's out of limits, then that shows in a view where a nurse practitioner can look at that data point. They're also alerting the physician who can make that timely intervention. It really is about getting the right information to the right person at the right time. We know that parents are afraid when they go home with kids with this level of disease. And it's been amazing to see the gratitude and the calmness that comes over them when we can send them home in ways that allow them to stay engaged with us from day one. Patients need to feel empowered to take care of themselves. I think that's really what Building Hope is doing, is empowering parents, families, patients to care for themselves because they're being equipped with the tools that they need. I really encourage all providers, whether it be of kids with congenital heart disease or other degrees of medical complexity, to work with Locus Health and to understand that things that we can do to continue to engage parents in ways we've never done it before. I think we're just at the beginning with what this solution can provide. If this is a program and a solution that you know will work for you, for more information, reach out to Locus Health. We're excited to hear from you.